Hello and welcome to this week's uh, game pickups for the week starting June 10th. I did have to go outside this week, I know. Um, I had a scan basically and decided to stop in at the local GameStop uh, game store because it was close by. Um, my local game store is basically in the next town over, so it's like a pain to get to. So, whilst I was there, I decided to nip into my most local CEX and bought some games. So, we've got another seven Xbox 360 games and three Final Fantasy games for the Final Fantasy collection. So, without further ado, we'll make a start. So, I went through and got all these sort of like in... Uh, alphabetical order of what was missing basically so we're starting off with Bloodstone 007 uh, as you can see five pounds for that uh, next up we have Goldeneye Reloaded 007 uh, obviously the list that I've got online is numbers at first so 007 Goldeneye sort of thing Oh yeah, uh, we got that. That's six pounds. Let's turn these around so we're facing that way. There we go. Army of Two. I had this at one point. Uh, not entirely sure what happened to it, to be honest. But yeah, decent game, decent uh, co-op shooter. That was only one pound fifty, so I thought, why not pick it up again? Uh, James Cameron's Avatar: The Game. Just two pounds. Got all the MacGuffins in it. It's actually got Game Station receipt in there, which is hilarious because Game Station hasn't been a thing for about twenty years at this point. Uh, I'll have a look at that <laughs> uh, in in a bit after I finish finish recording the video. Uh, Call of Duty Three for five pounds. I had this at some point as well. Oh, we've got a sticker on the inside of the... I had this at some point as well, and I'm not entirely sure what happened to it. But we got it again. And if I do find it, then I can always sell it. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Obviously, this does not come with a... Uh... Doesn't come with... A instruction manual, the instructions are on the inside. I assume that code probably doesn't work anymore. Um, so yeah. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for £2. Again, another case of no. Is it two discs there? Yeah. Is it the right disc is the next question. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Probably should have checked that, like, whilst I was there, but <laughs> it's fine. Another one with no instruction manual, because the instruction manual is the inside of the case, so. And that's Advanced Warfare. So that's the seven Xbox 360 games. Um, and that takes me up to 519 now. Uh, I did have a look around to see what Final Fantasy games they had that I didn't own. Uh, so we got Dissidia on the PSP. Unfortunately, didn't have the instruction manual, but... Uh, there's another one off the list for the Final Fantasy games. Anyway, uh, Final Fantasy X 2 HD Remaster. Um, I think I've got this now on... I've got the two original versions on PS2. Uh, and then I've got the Switch version, uh, the PS3 version, and I've got a digital version as well <laughs> on the Xbox. So I've got four copies of Final Fantasy X-2 now. Uh, oh, did not know that. Please use Final Fantasy X Spear as Summoner's Guard garb for use in lightning returns interesting 
Uh, yeah, so it came with all the all the stuff. I got a nice sticker there on the on the disc. Thanks for that. Uh, it looks like the case is broke as well, actually. And it's certainly seen better days. And lastly, uh, Final Fantasy XV on the PS4, uh, which is like the third copy of Final Fantasy XV I've got. <laughs> I've got the digital copy of the Xbox One, I've got the physical copy on the Xbox One, and I've got the physical copy on the uh, PS4 as well. Uh, so this was £4. Comes with all this stuff. The only one that didn't come with a manual actually was uh, Dissidia. So that was £4. The HD remaster for Final Fantasy X, XT on PS3 was £6, and Dissidia was £10. Um, do Let's not fall over, please, camera. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was the games from this week. There is less games coming uh, this week. So, those are the games from last week, rather. I've only got four for this week because, uh, as I said on the last video, the uh, deals on Music My Power dried up. <laughs> And at the moment, it's kind of one of those where it's like trying to find somewhere to buy digital, uh, buy physical games online, where they also don't charge you a ton for delivery. Music Map Buy, although the games are a little bit more expensive, um, it's free delivery. Whereas the likes of CX, where it's like the games are usually like fifty pence to a pound cheaper. They charge like three to four pound delivery per item. So it's like if I want to buy a load, then it's, you know it's gonna rack up the costs um, in delivery, which kind of don't want to do. I kind of kind of don't want to be spending that much on delivery. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, game wise, this week I have completed the Pokedex on Pokemon Sword. I've completed. Pokemon Shining Pearls game, and I'm slowly working through the Pokedex on that. Uh, that Let's Play is now completely up on the channel, and Like a Dragon, Ishin is now the next one that goes live at 5 o'clock. Um, so that'll play now for the next, like, two weeks. Um, once I've done the... Once I have done the Pokedex for Shining Pearl, or at least mostly done the Pokedex for Shining Pearl, I will then be going on to Legends Arceus, which I'm excited for. Um, I played a lot of it at launch, but I was focused on doing like the Pokedex and kind of never made it off the first map. <laughs> I spent over 100 hours on the first map, so uh, kind of excited to actually play through the game properly. Um, so yeah, that was this week's gaming pickups and a bit of a catch up. So, uh, if you are watching this on TikTok, don't forget to follow. And if you're watching it on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, see you next week for next week's pickups.